Hi, I'm Dave Douse, Dave's Guitar and Amp Service. Today I'm going to demonstrate items for maintaining a Vox Continental. These items will include tuning the tone generator card, setting the bias on the tone generator card, and adjusting the contacts under the keyboard. Okay, so we're going to demonstrate how to tune uh, the tone generator on a Vox Continental. Uh, first, we'll turn the mains on. And uh, we're going to use the standard guitar tuner here. Turn that on. That's plugged into the output of the organ. I recommend using only the 16-foot drawbar. If we have multiple drawbars, it may uh, confuse the tuner. So the single drawbar, 16-foot. And for um, filters, we'll use a sine wave filter and not the triangular wave filter. Uh, this will give us a cleaner signal to the guitar tuner. So we'll start with a C uh, note, and we'll use the second C. There's C1, C2. Bring in C2. We can see guitar tuner is showing that C2 is flat. So the cards are laid out C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, all the way up. So we'll start with a C, and the tuning coil for C right here. Use a screwdriver that is not metal or is insulated and gently will turn the tuning coil clockwise to bring the C into tune. So we can see how it's moving up, almost there and there. Remove the screwdriver and continue to check because sometimes the screwdriver can affect the tuning, having the screwdriver on the coil. So now I'll demonstrate adjusting the bias on the tone generator cards. Each of the 12 tone generator cards has a bias pot control, and this adjusts the voltage on the transistors. So the bias pot is on the corner of each card. There's the one for C, C sharp, D, and so forth. In this example, these are new bias pots. Sometimes they're, uh, they're a different shape, but they're generally in the corner of the tone generator card. In this case, I'll show you C, and if you listen, you can hear that the low C octave is much lower in volume than the low one. It's not working very well. So in that case, we'll adjust the bias until we hear that note come in full, and, and there it is. Now it's a good low octave note, and we'll still need to check all the other notes for C to make sure that the adjustment is working. Sometimes you can have notes that don't work at all if the bias is way out. Now here's an example, when I moved it, the card isn't working there, the transistors aren't functioning properly, and now the bias is okay. So it may be necessary to adjust bias depending upon line voltage. Now I'd like to demonstrate uh, adjusting the contacts. Uh, this is a little more difficult, um, but uh, it may be necessary to do. Uh, the symptom of a contact issue is when you plug the organ in and turn it on, one note or several notes continue to play without pushing the keys. Or it could be a problem where uh, none, the key never works with any of the drawbars pulled. That's possible that's a contact issue. Um, First, we've already removed the screws here, but I'll show you where the screws are. There's, there's a, a screw here, and then one on the other side, and this is in the case of a UK wooden key model. Uh, you need to remove these two screws, and then lift the key bed up. And be very careful not to hit the uh, contacts on the tone generator cards, or any of the wiring here. So we'll lift it up. Move it down, and for safety's sake, I'll put a piece of foam in the back just to help protect the cards. And on this side now we can see the bottom of the uh, keyboard. The contacts are inside this structure. We'll have to remove this case. So there's, there's many screws holding this case on. We've got most of them removed now. 
uh, but we will take these remaining screws off and also the support beam off. Okay, we've got this organ unplugged, turned off, and I want to stress that point. There is live voltage if you leave it plugged in, even if it's turned off. There's live voltage under here. This is power, AC power. So you must unplug the organ. We have the cover off the contact assembly. Uh, we have four pairs of bus bars here. One for each uh, draw bar. One pair for each draw bar. So there's a ground and there's an active bus bar. In this example, we have an A note that's always ringing. I'll depress the A key. You can see the key contacts moving from ground to active on three of them, but not on the fourth one. The fourth one is popped out from between the bus bar pair, and that's why this note is always ringing. We can move the contact in. You can either use a small pair of tweezers, or in this example, it's like a small darning needle, very tiny, and gently move the contact back in between the bus bar pair and there we go so if we move the A node now it's, it's connecting between ground and active 